Fran and you're watching a retouching tutorial for tipsquirrel.com. In today's episode I'm going to teach you three different ways to convert your images to black and white. The first is a general black and white image, the second is high contrast and the third is a more cinematic matte effect feel. So let's get started. So I've got my colour image here, this is a shot of Tom, one of my friends which I took last year and uh, I'm quite happy with the colour version of this but I do prefer the black and white shots of these types of portraits on a black background. So the first way of converting an image to black and white is to come down here to the adjustments panel and I'm going to click on black and white which is fairly obvious um, and it gives you quite good options here, different sliders to use um, for your images. Now this particular image before, um, there's not too many colours in the image, there's sort of red, maybe magenta, yellow and blue, um, but your image might have a lot of different colours, a lot of different range of colours and it really is up to you, I mean you can just literally click the black and white filter and that will create a black and white image or you can tweak the sliders, it really is up to you. So I'm just going to have a quick tweak on here. I'm probably not going to do too much to this image. So I'm going to go for something like that, so that's the before and after. Very very simple and it's great if you've got a whole load of images that need to be converted to black and white and you can literally just press that button and you can convert a batch of images if you wish. Now the next technique is the high contrast black and white and I love high contrast black and white. If I'm converting an image to black and white I always add an extra layer which is the contrast layer. So you come down to the adjustment panel, you go to brightness contrast. So I'm going to boost this up to maybe 50 or more, it really depends on your liking and your tastes in high contrast images, but I'm probably going to go for something like that. Now the next effect is sort of a cinematic matte effect feel, and I have spoken about the matte effect in previous videos, and I do really like applying it to my images, and it creates like a, a retro kind of feel, so you literally come down here to the adjustments panel, you go to curves, and I'm literally going to plot a couple of points there and I'm going to lift this point up just a touch. Now this reduces a lot of the black tones that are in the image, creating more of a grey effect and I think it can work really really well on these types of shots, especially if you've got like a black background or a dark background, it can work really really nicely. And if I just take the contrast layer off, you can also see how it works with just the general black and white image as well. Now time for a bonus tip and if you don't want to use those techniques there is another technique and you can use a gradient map adjustment layer. So I'm going to click on gradient map there, click on the gradient map editor and make sure that that is set to black and that point is set to white. Click OK. And as you can see it's converted the image to black and white and you can have a play around with these two points here to create maybe a high contrast image if that's what you're after. You go for something, something like that, click OK and that's another way of converting your image to black and white. If you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a like, I would really really appreciate it. Of course if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe, it's absolutely free and you'll be notified about my latest videos. For more Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials don't forget to check out tipsquirrel.com. If you want to follow me I'm on Twitter at Photoshop Pro and on Instagram at Photoshop Fran. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in next week's video.